Now, what does this mean compared to a control? What is that all about? Well, you're comparing it to something else, right? And that comparison is white bread. That's right, white bread. So if you compare anything to white bread, it's going to be better in a significant way. So let's say, for example, you eat some white bread, okay? And let's say it spikes your blood sugars by 10 points. And then when you eat uh, the oats, it only spikes your blood sugars by five points. And then we can say in the study, there's a significant difference. There's a, a much less, like 50% less uh, spike in blood sugars than the controls. But that 50% improvement is not just, you know, adding this to your diet and seeing an improvement in blood sugars. It's compared to something else. And then when you read on in the study, it says the improvement in blood sugars only occurred right after the meal, okay? It didn't occur later on, probably because there's a, a nice spike of blood glucose when you eat white bread. So that was one point. The other thing that they mentioned in the studies is that um, uh, part of the study was just consuming um, three grams of uh, beta-glucan, not consuming oatmeal, but just that compound, and that created a lowering of cholesterol. And so then by inference, you know, we can just say, well, there's beta-glucan in oats. And just by deductive reasoning, it then must create the same effect. But that's a little confusing because that's an isolated compound versus eating it as a whole grain. And then there's other studies that 29 participants uh, enrolled in the study. 